So the next stage in the system's life cycle, we're going to talk about evaluation here. So this makes it appear quite simple, this definition here. And it is quite simple, really, so long as certain factors are in place, which we're going to talk about in a minute, regarding criteria. But it really comes down to uh, whether decisions can be made and the decision referred to whether the problem has been solved or not. And it's, it's judgment. And the strength of that judgment is really, really important because when it comes down to it, um, the systems analysis and design, the, the analyst, in other, in other words, who's in charge of it all, he's going to want to show that he's done his job because ultimately he wants to get paid. So it's deciding whether he has done his job or not, ultimately. So you need a criteria to, in order to do evaluation and those criteria be set up and they are the standards, as it says here, for, for judging whether something has been a success or not. Um, it's important that you understand that evaluation criteria is not something that's set up after you've already created the thing, it's something that's set up before. And it's really important that you're clear about what those criteria are. And in the notes, um, there is some good examples of, of clarity and all that kind of thing. And also coverage as well. You want to cover as many of the um, features and as many as the the facets, in other words, the elements of output, the elements of input, and the elements of processes that are really important to the system in order to get good coverage of the whole system as to whether it has um, done the job it's supposed to do. So here I've really tried to simplify the, the process down of evaluation, whereby the criteria is set up, as I said before, um, any product is actually created, in other words, implementation happens and this evaluation criteria is then judged upon after implementation occurs. So after the thing's been put together and put in place, you can then test it to see if it meets the criteria. And that's really what we're on about, this threefold process with criteria set in the middle, the thing gets done, then it gets tested on afterwards. So as far as the testing goes, um, the aim as it states there is just to prove that the system works and we call this functional testing that's what it's usually called in this respect we'll go into different elements of testing later on it's basically just to check that it, it does what it's supposed to do in other words it meets that criteria it meets what it says it's supposed to have done as regards the requirements and it's testing those criteria in other words after the implementation after the system's been built and implemented that's when you test it and it's testing it to see if it meets the criteria.